Hey everybody, I am Keith Knight, Gentleman Cartoonist, and I am the co-creator and inspiration behind the Sony series, Woke. The big incident with the police happened when I was hanging up posters for my band at a bus stop. There was a gung-ho police officer that pulled up, jumped out of the car, said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just hanging up posters. And he got on the, the radio and said, we found the suspect. And, and I said, what suspect? What's going on? And they said that I fit the description of someone who was robbing houses in the neighborhood. And I said, what's that description? And he said, six foot tall black male. And that's it. The biggest surprise to me was watching my roommate, my white roommate, come off the bus. And he saw all these cops surrounding me. And he came running at the cops, like super hardcore screaming, yelling at them. And the way they treated him was like he was the manager, you know, and like they're just trying to make him feel better. Because if he had been black or brown, he would have been tased, arrested, hit, beaten, or worse. So that was a huge moment for me. My work is known for mixing in serious issues with comedy. This is the way black folks have dealt with the issues like this for, frankly, centuries. You deal with it through art, through music, through expressing yourself in comedy. Like you have to, you have to laugh to keep from crying. It's something that has worked for me as a cartoonist for a long time, so I really felt it was important to bring it to the screen into a different medium. Cartoonists are sort of like modern day court jesters, and so they can speak truth to power uh, in a way that other folks can't. They talk about these serious issues, but they use humor um, as the medicine that sort of draws people in and makes the medicine go down a little better. It's that sort of jab you with a little, a few jokes, and then punch you in the face with some serious stuff. It was so interesting sort of trying to convince everybody because not everybody was totally convinced that we could mix in the humor and the serious issues and all, and, and the animation on top of that, right? And, um, but it, it was really nice to see it come through and, and people react to it in such a positive way. Well, I mean, that's the interesting thing, right? We shot the first season uh, before the summer of 2020, which totally, you can tell, like, <laughs> the subject matter is like, nobody's paying attention to this. Suddenly, everybody's paying attention to this. We are looking forward to really diving headfirst into this sort of new paradigm I'm so excited to examine what's been going on uh, this past year. And so we're gonna lean into it. I, I just really felt like I hadn't seen something on television that just approached it in the way that we had done. It was important for me to show somebody that didn't fit into a certain category. And I wanted to create something that that had some nuance and didn't give you the answers, but just showed you that nobody was totally right and nobody was totally wrong. I just get a lot of texts and, and emails from people saying, I finally feel heard, you know? And that's, you know, that's a nice thing. That's, it's a nice thing that we've um, created something that wasn't there before.